expected a public void. Public void. I'm getting some serious brain damage right here. I don't know if we need to go. So public. Just go here. Public void. Is that okay? Expected a declaration. What have I done wrong? Hacks. I had a massively stupid, um, dumbass moment. Uh, something I forgot to do here is a simple. So just right there, right public. I f totally forgot. So they weren't accessible before. But there we go. I, uh, is it running? Is that okay? Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we shouldn't. Yeah. So there you go. Both both succeeded. So we shouldn't have any errors. Um, now, but our our menu isn't working yet. We're nearly there. Um, so we're going to go back to our hacks.c++ and we're going to work on it. So now what we're going to do is going to go to initialize menu items. We're going to say hack. So this is our array we created earlier. I'm going to say wall hack dot name equals. And um, I tend to leave a space. Um, well, I left on mine, so I'm just going to follow it here. So it's going to call this uh, wall hack and cams. Now you feel free to call it any name you like. It doesn't matter for the menu. But if you're following the whole COD4 tutorial, I recommend you just um, you write what I've got. So just copy that, um, and then we're going to write a couple of different things. So paste, 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 paste. Uh, then we're going to go for custom crosshair, custom crosshair. Got that. Um, then we're going to go no recoil. Then we're going to go for auto fire. And then next is hide menu. And this is our last one. And then what we're going to say here is we're going to say, so get rid of that. So copy that, paste that there. And we're saying dot on equals um, hide menu equals false. So what we're saying is by default the menu shows automatically. Now if you prefer the menu to be hidden until you press insert then put that as true. Up to you. So as soon as it's injected it displays so that way we know the injection was su successful. And what we're going to write here is we're going to write um, show custom crosshair crosshair and uh, here we're going to write um, Unlimited equip, uh, sorry, no recoil. And then on the next one, we're going to write unlimited equipment. Unlimited. What have I missed? Yeah, I know what I missed, dumbass. I'm such a dumbass. So just after no recoil, yeah, so just write unlimited equipment. And this one should be the next one, really. Um, so that should be um, unlim ammo, unlim ammo and that should be unlimited equipment and auto fire should be called all guns auto so all guns guns fuck my spelling is terrible uh, automatic no my spelling my actual writing is bad spelling is alright um, all guns automatic and then we finally have hide hack and what I like to do in situations like this hide hack I put insert. So the thing, what I'm saying here is um, insert. So if you do this and you send it to your friend, for example, or release it anywhere, you're saying press insert because they can select it through the menu and pressing end to, and then it'll hide the menu, but they won't know how to bring it back. So that way we put insert and we say, you know, press the insert key or select it on the menu to hide. So once it's hidden, you can just press insert and bring it back, or you can hide it in the first place with insert. Let me make sure that's okay. So I have hide menu, auto fire all guns automatic, and limited ammo, and limited equipment, no recoil, custom crosshair, which is fine, and wall hacking cams. That's great. That looks good to me. Excuse me. So what we're gonna do now is gonna do our draw um draw menu class. So draw text, where's draw text? Yeah, let's do our draw text first actually, because it's here. So we're gonna start off by saying rect uh, and that means rectangle, so we're creating a rectangle, RCT equals. So open that, we're setting it to a default value. What the hell did I do? Oh, press some stupid hotkey. Uh, oh, it's all capitals, my bad. All rect, so we know it's a rectangle. And we're saying x minus 120. And now what this is doing is making sure our rectangle is placed exactly where our x and y says. 
y plus 120 and y plus 15 sorry the second was x plus 120 my bad and 15 so y uh, x minus 120 x plus 120 um, and y plus 15 so that will create a rectangle so we can draw exactly where x and y is so then we say uh, let's just press c drill space if you like and I'm gonna go for font um, so use our font variable now we're gonna do a dash and then the pointer var uh, the uh, the arrow which is same for a pointer and we're saying draw text uh, so yeah draw text they will give you that but don't worry about that it's fine um, it only comes up with a because there's already a default built-in function so I probably should have put a dash or, or an underscore or something so we know what the difference is but it doesn't matter so text to draw to draw and then we're going to say um, minus one for our count and then we're saying passing this by reference rectangle RCT um, so we're saying display uh, this rectangle so in this position this coordinates then DT no clip T no click which I'm actually not sure what it does but it doesn't really matter because it's not really that relevant and then color so what color do we want our text to be in okay is that not okay what's wrong with that oh I know what is wrong with that technically that should be in lower thingies because it's um, it's not a global variable it doesn't matter don't worry about it so our next uh, thing to do so that's a very simple function um, you could have just called this in the first place, but imagine having to call uh, create a rectangle every time you do it. You don't want that, so you just say, "I want this text right here in this position on the screen, and I want this color to be the text." So um, the next thing we're going to do is our draw menu uh, function. Let me just locate that. This is a bit of a big function, but we'll be all right. So don't worry about that. So if hack. Uh, I guess this is pretty much the biggest function in here. Yeah, it is the biggest function. But um, so all this does is display obviously our whole menu, and it's got a nice little thing to it. You'll see, hide menu. So we're saying if the menu is hidden, then don't display it. If it is, um, if it isn't hidden, then we draw it on screen. So uh, we start off by doing a draw field rectangle, which we're going to create that function in a second. Don't worry about that. Draw field rectangle. We're going to say uh, x. We want 55, 20. And then we want 200 for our width and 50 for our height. So once you, I recommend once you've done this, then tweak it to the size you prefer and so on. So I want this to be blue. And all that we're doing here is we're creating exactly what I showed you at the start. And I want that direct 3D device. So let's do that device. If you press Control and Space quickly then it will come up with the um, with the autocomplete which is really useful if you're lazy like me uh, and then we're going to do just a similar thing so uh, I'm just going to copy and paste that and said this time is draw border so draw border box box and this first border box is for our um, our first thing where our name of our game will be shown uh, and that will be 55 20 200 uh, and I'll explain exactly how this works once we do it uh, 250 so don't worry about that for now and then comma 4 which is our width our thickness okay and then our color we want it to be black so font black and we want uh, the same direct 3d device which is fine and then our next one we want it to do draw autocomplete again text a and we want to display um, well, here's my my game name so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say um, direct just go insert game name here so just go insert game name or just go game name here actually it's better doesn't really matter making this up as I go along <laughs> hopefully that won't come out of the uh, thing here so this is where you're gonna um, you know write your game name obviously mine can be COD4 it doesn't really matter so 190 um, 30 which is our position we want this to be in uh, font white font white and close that so that's our first bit and then our next part will be uh, let's draw another field rectangle uh, and then we're going to do here is we're going to do a um, so we've got in x uh, so that will be 30 so we're going to really be careful not to make mistakes otherwise our menu will look really weird 
Th so 30, 55, um, 30, 55, uh, then 250. 250! And then what we're going to do here, this is something I came up with because we're going to go with 62 times uh, max menu items. And we do this because uh, I thought 62 was a good number to be. Um, basically to be between so 62 is the distance between each menu item so you've got sh a custom cross there you've got no recoil and all that and I decided that 62 was a good number now once you do this and if you want your items your menu items to be smaller and all that good stuff uh, if you got loads of them then you can make your own number but I think 62 is good for example and you'll know why this happens in a second so we're going to go for blue and now what we're going to do is our border box actually we can just do that we don't need to um so draw a border box for our um, what is this for? This is let me think. I think this is for the whole hack we're doing right now. I'm not sure, but I'll um, hopefully this will become clear as we do it. So draw a border box just below the rectangle. That'll be 30. Uh, probably shouldn't have deleted. That should have gone with the exact same thing. Yeah, just go with that because it's pretty much the exact same thing. And uh, 30, 55, 250. And we're going we're going to go for font. Um, six in thickness, okay, and then we want font black, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So, font black, we want to go for. Oh my god, uh, font black, and we're going to go for the right 3D device. So, what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to say uh, int y y equals 40, and that's uh, you'll see why this is in a second. Um, for int i int i equals zero if i is smaller than max menu item so we want to make sure we display every single menu item menu uh, items uh, then we say i plus plus of course so i plus plus get rid of the capitals i plus plus jesus christ so i plus plus that seems fine I'm going to start off with the um, draw field rectangle, so let's go for that. So, draw field rectangle. And then, what we're going to say here is we're saying um, we start off 45 for our x. So, it's always on the same x position. So, in case you don't know, uh, x position goes across and y goes up and down. So, we're saying, and it starts from here. So, if we're saying x45, it starts about here, right? And then, uh, for our y, we're going to go for 30 plus y so every time um, we increase by 40 every time go downwards alright so uh, we do that that's our y and then uh, our width is gonna be 220 and 220 and then 40 for our height because that's the size of every single one of them and then we say now this is a bit of ternary so if you don't know what ternary is um, I think that's how you say it but if you know what it is, feel free to Google this. Something very simple. So I'm going to explain to you how this works. It's something that generated from C, I believe, and I only learned this recently, and I think it's really cool. So it's like an if statement, but um, a bit different. So we say hack, and then we put i dot on, we put question mark, right? and then we say uh, we we'll put font green, right? And I'm sure you'll understand this as we do it. Font red. So what this does. Uh, let's just put the back three device and let me explain this device. And what this does, what it's saying is it's saying, um, is hack dot on, so is hack on the one that we have just drawn a rectangle around, right? If so, we put this as green. So if this, the outcome of this is true, then we put this as green. If it's false, we put it as red. So we put the background of that rectangle as red, and if if it's true, if it's on, then we put it as uh, green. Just adjust my mic. Um, so it's basically an if statement in one line, which we could have done in an if statement, but I prefer to do it like that. So it basically sends in either a green or a red into that function. Uh, and then we say draw border box, which is our border. So let's just do this, but with a border box. Um, draw border box. And this is going to be almost the exact same. So 45, 30 plus Y. And then we're going to have 220, 40. And then 4 for our thickness. Okay. This part obviously isn't the same. Um, 40 for our thickness, 